If you're not making money online in 2024, you're seriously missing out. With all the technology and the resources nowadays, there's really no excuse not to have passive income and some kind of online business. I've grown several six-figure businesses online myself, and these are some of the best opportunities, I think so, right now in 2024, to create an online business and start bringing in some extra revenue. And I'll show you some of the best businesses to get started with in 2024. They don't require much capital or money to get started outside of some time you have to put into them to actually get them up and running. So the first step would actually be learning the basics of AI and automation. There's free courses on LinkedIn, Coursera, these different platforms to actually understand it more deeply. But one of the best things you can do is actually jump into these platforms yourself. So think Zapier or Chat. GPT, make.com, actually learn how to use these different software and tools, and then you can actually offer it as a service to your clients. And you can literally automate anything from uploading data from one place to another, doing marketing, automating content scheduling. So as you kind of get a hang for, and then once you actually get a client, you know how to use the automation and the tool in a way that they need. So again, it can be for something related to marketing, finance, content, no matter what it is, you know how to use those platforms to achieve their goals. It's also good to identify a specific niche or an audience you want to work with. Maybe it's law firms, maybe it's marketing agencies, software companies. It's good to double down and be a really good kind of expert at something in particular. You can be a generalist at first and just kind of work with whatever businesses, local businesses. But once you actually do get that experience under your belt, then you can start to double down maybe on a very specific industry and then you're known for that exact niche. And anytime you're doing a service, cold emailing is one of the best ways to get clients. So once you're actually comfortable offering it as a service and you have that experience, what you want to do is use things like hunter.io, apollo.io, find these different companies you want to work with in these databases and reach out to the decision maker. Maybe it's going to be the marketing director, the CTO, depending exactly who you're trying to work with. And then you can email them directly. You can follow up on a regular basis. And nowadays too, with these different tools, like everything's automated, it's all AI ironically, and you can actually write the scripts with AI directly in the platform, automate the follow-ups and everything. So you have really no excuse not to be doing cold outreach and automating all of that. But again, AI and automation is just such a huge industry right now. You can learn how to use these different platforms and then help other businesses do it as well. And you can get them on a retainer every month, doing it and helping them month to month, or maybe just a one-time project fee, helping them set up the different automations and integrations. And then number two is gonna be affiliate marketing. I've talked about this a lot. Affiliate marketing is one of the best passive income businesses you can start, and it's really good for beginners. So how it works is pretty much, you're gonna partner up with maybe Amazon Associates or another brand, and when you link to their products, if somebody clicks that and buys the product, you get a commission. So let's say, for example, the commission rate's 10% and you refer a product that's $500. Well, without making the product, doing shipping, inventory, anything like that, you're getting a 10% or $50 commission just like that. It's the definition of passive income. You can do affiliate marketing in a couple different ways. You can create a blog on medium.com, WordPress, LinkedIn, and then you essentially create content around a specific topic and niche. You're gonna answer people's questions, solve their pain points, Maybe you're gonna do product reviews and comparisons, and then inside that content, you have affiliate links. So people come from Google, YouTube, wherever, they click that link and you get a commission. It's all passive and very organic. And what's cool about Amazon Associates is that no matter what they add to cart after they clicked your link, you get a commission for that. It's not just the product you were promoting, it's actually everything else they add to cart as well. And again, blogging is really good in search engine optimization or SEO. You can do blogging as it compounds over time. You can make a YouTube channel talking about that exact industry and different products and comparisons and reviews. However you wanna start, but affiliate marketing is a great business in 2024 and it's only getting better. And then related to that is making a YouTube-based business. And technically you can actually monetize it in many different ways. You can choose an industry or a topic you're really passionate about, or you can choose something that you think might be lucrative and has a good opportunity. And then you can start making videos on that topic and all the questions people would have. And don't worry, you don't need a fancy setup or anything. I'm recording this off my phone and a tripod right now. You can do that. You can record right off your laptop or your phone, however you want to do it. Production quality is important, but when you're just getting started, just get in the habit of getting videos and content out there. Some of the best videos I've ever watched, literally just someone recording it off their phone or their laptop, but it's just like so relevant to me and such good advice that I'm hooked to the, the screen 24 seven and as long as the video is going on. So don't overthink the production quality and value. Just make sure you're getting out content on a regular basis. And then how you're gonna monetize your channels in a couple different ways. So when you actually reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you can have ads placed on your videos and you can actually get Google AdSense revenue coming in. Secondly is partnerships and sponsorships. So as you grow your channel, brands will reach out, they'll wanna sponsor your videos and you'll get a one-time fee every time their ad is placed in a video. Then again, we have affiliate marketing. You can have your affiliate links for different maybe equipment you use or maybe reviews you're doing. 
put that in the description, you're gonna get passive income that way. You can sell digital products and online courses. You can sell physical products as well. So that YouTube channel is a brand at the end of the day. So you can monetize in so many different ways, but video content is in super high demand right now. You can be on camera building up that brand and that connection with your audience and then monetize it in a dozen different ways. And then building off of that is probably my favorite, which is online education and courses. I have my academy in the description if you wanna check that out to learn more about business and self-improvement and get coaching from me. But the online education market is just worth billions of dollars. It's growing rapidly, especially after all the things that we had happen in the past few years. More people are trying to learn online and get courses and education. So you can choose something you're passionate about and you have expertise in. There's something that you're very knowledgeable about. Even if you think you're a beginner, there's something that you can teach. And then you can use a platform like Udemy or Teachable, which I personally use and love. You can use AI and ChatGPT to create a curriculum. And like we talked about the YouTube, you can record the course curriculum and the videos right off your phone, off your laptop with OBS, which is a free software. And then you can upload it to these platforms and start doing marketing afterward. You can build up an email list, you can create a website and a blog, you can make videos on YouTube and then drive that traffic to your course. So there's a lot of different opportunities, but online education is amazing because it's a digital product. So someone comes to you, they buy it, you get that sale, and that's pretty much it. Of course, you need to have customer service and maybe coaching or something involved, but it's digital. So you don't have to worry about tracking codes, shipping things, inventory management. Someone comes to you, they buy it, and that's pretty much it. So it's a really good opportunity if you wanna create content, help people and teach, and also it's create a really good business in 2024. And then last but not least is e-commerce or drop shipping. Don't listen to anyone that says drop shipping is dead. No business model can really be dead. There's always potential and an opportunity. I've grown multiple online stores myself. And it's a great way to kind of learn business skills and marketing and advertising and have passive income coming in as well. So there's platforms like WordPress and WooCommerce, Shopify, BigCommerce. You can even technically sell on eBay, Etsy, Amazon. I recommend drop shipping because how the process works. I recommend drop shipping because it's more beginner friendly. You can essentially hook up with a wholesaler or another business. You list their products on your online store. When someone buys that, you order it through the wholesaler at a discounted rate, and then you get that profit that's in between. So for example, if you sell a product for $200, but you order it through the wholesaler for 125, you get that $75 profit difference. That's your margin. And so again, Shopify, WooCommerce, and get started on these platforms. You can then look up wholesalers and drop shipping programs in your specific niche. And then I'd recommend learning things like search engine optimization, optimizing your website and your product listings for search engines like Google, learning social media marketing, putting content on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all these different platforms, email marketing as well, building up an email newsletter, setting up automation in the back end to send out emails when people maybe abandon their cart and they don't check out or just sending out sales emails and promotions. And then when you're ready to reinvest, learning things like TikTok ads, Facebook ads, Google ads, these are amazing ways to reinvest in your business and quickly scale it up. So it's a really good option if you're looking to learn a lot of business and marketing skills and make some passive income as well. But from my experience, these are easily some of the best opportunities for businesses in 2024, especially online. Now, if you want to learn more about these businesses and self-improvement, I have the Transformation Academy in the description. You can check out, you get courses and coaching from me inside of there. If there's anything else you want to learn on the channel, just let me know down in the comments. Hope you're having an awesome week and I'll see you very soon.